Dear students, we are preparing for grade 11 while we wait for our grade 10 results as well. So we have been learning a little bit of cell biology till now. Now today onwards we will start with plant physiology. So what exactly comprises plant physiology? Uh, you will uh, learn about the structure of plants. What are the processes that happen in plants? Okay. So what processes can happen in plants? Mainly it is transport. All right. And then there is photosynthesis, respiration, all those things. But more than anything else, we need to focus on the transport in plants. What kind of transport happens in plants? There has to be water moving from the soil to the leaf. As you all know, how does it move? That path we should clearly define. Then in the leaf, Using water, sunlight, it will prepare some food. What kind of food does it prepare? It prepares glucose, right? That glucose also needs to be transported to all the parts of the plant. Let's say this is the leaf in which, to which it got water. From this leaf, whatever food it prepares, the food or the glucose needs to go to every part of the plant. For this, there are certain specialized tissues in plants called as xylem and phloem. So those are the things that you will be learning in the further classes. So today's class, what are we going to learn? In today's class, we will understand the mechanism of transport of water. As in, as you all know, you can look at a plant. The plant will definitely have some roots, right? And this is the part which absorbs water. Is it like a sponge that it absorbs water? No. Instead, there are certain reasons why the, the root is able to take up water molecules which are around it. What are these reasons? First reason is that from the leaf there is always water loss. And that is called as, you all know this, transpiration. Right? The moment there is sun from the leaf. To tiny pores on the leaf, there is water loss, which you have learned probably in your grade 5 itself. So, water is being lost from here all the time, whenever there is sun. Correct? So, water being lost, obviously there will be a pressure created in the cells which are near to this leaf. That pressure will pull water from here to the leaf. And in turn, the next cell will give its water to the up cell. We cannot always say it is up. It can be just adjacent. We will always use the word adjacent. Okay. So, every time there is transpiration and water loss from the surface of the leaf. Okay. Surface of the leaf. What happens? Water gets starts getting pulled from the adjacent cell. So, from this cell, water is lost. Alright. Yeah. From this cell, water is lost. Water gets absorbed from the nearby cell and so on. So, it creates a pull and this pull or the suction pull that is created is called as transpirational pull. So, transpirational pull is one of the reasons why water gets absorbed into the root. Okay. Uh, and not just that, the water gets transported up. Okay. And there is a word used for transportation of water and its minerals up and that is called as ascent of sap. So, what is ascent of sap? Ascent of sap is movement of water or the sap, movement of sap up from the root till the tip of the leaf. That is called as ascent of sap. Ascent of sap is caused by what now? It is caused by transpirational pull. I hope that is clear. Is it only transpirational pull? No. There are two other reasons also, two forces also. What are they? One is called as cohesion and the other is called as adhesion. We will start with adhesion first so that you can easily remember what is adhesion. You all know what is adhesive. Usually gum and all that we call as adhesive. Right? So, whenever, whenever water is trying to go up, there's a water drop, there's another water drop, there's another water drop. This water drops always get stuck to the wall of 
this xylem so what is xylem we will learn later think of it as stem okay stem having a tiny tube inside okay stem having a tiny tube inside we will call as of now as xylem okay it's a tissue which require which helps plant to pull water up and transport water all right so to the um, wall of that um, xylem which is a tube like tissue inside the stem the water gets stuck okay this helps in easy movement of water up why is it helping because otherwise water will come back down due to gravity right so this water getting stuck helps other water molecules to move up that is called as adhesion okay water molecules adhere to the walls of this one please have a look at this this one walls of the xylem cells helping in the upward movement of water what is upward movement of water called as ascent of sap right ascent of sap now that is one reason first reason was transpirational pull second reason is adhesion third reason is that water always has a property of sticking to each other also okay water molecules always have a uh, capability or property to keep sticking to each other which also helps in upward movement of water so there are three things that we learn first is transpirational pull second is transpirational pull second is adhesion and third is adhesion and third is cohesion you have to remember which one is adhesion and cohesion for that easy uh, uh, memory i have given you the example of adhesive okay adhesive is a gum or something so adhesion adhesion is sticking of water to walls of the um, xylem cohesion is sticking of water to each other all right so let's recap what are we looking at we are looking at plant physiology the, what are, what is plant physiology the processes that happen in plants first process that we are learning is transport all right what transport transport of water from the soil till the leaves as well as prepared food in the leaf getting transported to every part of the plant for which we will be learning in the further classes for transport of water we know there are reasons why water gets transported uh, roots are never like sponge it can never absorb water because of the spongitivity or anything there are different reasons one is diffusion another is osmosis which we will be learning in the further class right now we should know that water is absorbed by different processes into the root and once it is absorbed how does it go up how do, what is the upward movement of water called it is called as ascent of sap and we learn the three reasons why ascent of sap happens in the upcoming class we will learn how root absorbs water i like i said it's never like a sponge okay then how does it absorb water the, there are certain properties of roots which help in water absorption as well as there are few processes that help in absorption of water both we will be learning in the upcoming class all right we will also understand what is meant by root pressure we will also understand the uh, structure and function of xylem and phloem and how does food gets trans uh, translocated in the upcoming session so please keep watching please keep learning any doubts please put a comment below so that i can help you out thank you children